Hello, this is the second video in a multi-part video se uh, series describing how to use layering in Vixen 3. Uh, if you haven't seen video 1, it covers the introduction to basic layering and some of the intensity overlay on a basic level. This video I'm going to try and take into a little uh, more deeper topics, uh, show some more advanced uh, techniques, and look at a couple of the other layering filters out there that can be used to accomplish some interesting effects. So I'm using the same uh, setup that I had before. Um, I've gone ahead and added in a um, few other layers here into the situation uh, into my setup here. I've had mask and mask and fill as well, the same intensity overlay that we saw in video one. So I went ahead and preset those up. There's nothing you know different than what I showed in video one about configuring the two of those. I've got the basic butterfly effect here. I'm just using the one tree right now. You can see that up here. So I'm going to take a, for the first part of this and just take a spiral and lay it on there in, in conjunction with that and uh, make sure it's all lined up evenly there. And you can see now the both of those, and it's just a simple mixing algorithm, you get this rainbow colored look where you kind of see the butterfly and the, and the spiral all mixing together in a rainbow fashion. So that's kind of a neat effect all of its own, but we want to have a little more control over this. So I'm going to take the, the spiral effect, and you can take a look at it here. There's, you know, the simple, it's got the three colors in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the thickness down a little bit on these to, to make it a little more obvious about what's going on here. Somewhere around here should be good there. So now we've got a more distinctive um, color band and a distinctive um, lack of color in between these. So if I take this thing here and actually drop this into the intensity overlay layer like we did before, it goes away, you know, as we would expect. It's not mixing with anything now. And I put the two of these together now. Now you can see in the in the areas of the spiral that had, you know, brightness to them, the actual butterfly effect is showing up through them. So you get the color of the the pattern of the spirals, but the color of the um <clears throat> butterfly effect there before. So in essence, you get a spiraling butterfly effect now. So this is a little more advanced way to use the intensity overlay to start using another effect to modify the look of an existing effect. This way I can actually get the butterfly laid onto my um, spiraling type effect there. So that's one way to, to leverage this. Another thing that we can actually do is take and actually use that as a masking effect. So now, when we put it in the masking layer there, we actually see that the parts of the effect that the wider bands are being masked out, and the parts that there is no color in the spiral get to show through with the butterfly type effect. This is very similar to the, what the look of the intensity overlay does, except it's, it's the opposite way. So the dark areas are now showing through where the colored areas of the spiral are being blacked out. So that shows you a little bit about how the mask does. The mask actually cuts out the parts that are active in the other um, effect. So then if we take this and actually switch it to a mask and fill, now we'll actually start to see that the, the spiral colors are there but the butterfly is in the gaps in between showing through. And it's a little easier if I actually take this and knock a color out of here so that we can actually see this a little more effectively. See there's a bigger bands in there. And then when I look at it now, you can actually still see, you can see the red and the green bands of the spiral there. And in the dark areas where the spiral would normally be black, the actual butterfly effect is showing through. So the, this is actually masking out areas of the the butterfly effect with the, with the colors of the spiral and filling those in. So you actually get those uh, those colors from the spiral to show through. So let's actually take this and um, let's drop this uh, green out of here and put this blue in here so it gives a much more contrasting color. So you can see there's... There's one bigger spiral there of a blue and, and then a dark band in there. And when I put the two of these together, then you see the big broad, broad bands of the, of the blue 
overlaying the areas in the butterfly that it actually applies to. So if we take this and go back to the actual masking part of it, you see the bigger mass now. So you get the bigger spirals in there. So the, the colors of the butterfly are showing through where the blue color of the spiral would be. And the color really doesn't matter in full color elements like this. They completely mix, you know, mix together. So they will match with any particular color there that we have. So that there actually shows you how to use the mask, mask and fill, and a little more advanced uh, usage of the intensity overlay. And you can do this with uh, with numerous different effects. You know, it's I could take this butterfly off of here. And then I can actually take and uh, let's try um, well, let's try um, the plasma effect. It's similar to the butterfly, but it will work the same way. We drop this guy in here. You see the odds, the great plasma there, and then you drop this on, and you get spirals with the plasma. Then uh, we could do the same thing with the um, with the curtain effect here. So we'll take the curtain effect. We'll drop it on here, and then you see the actual curtain opening up there, and then we put it on here, and now you've got opening spirals with the curtain effect. So that starts to give you a lot more options on how to actually create new and interesting effects in Vixen 3 using the layering capabilities.